anyone can get us through. It's our boys over at WIBC, Hamer and Nigel. Time for today's Is This Anything? Great to see Hello. you guys. Um, I have to address this. Hammer, I feel like I haven't seen you in quite some time. It's great to see I've you I've been face. Florida man for the last week. Spent eight days down in Florida. I was, I was under the impression you had your urethra replaced. Yeah, we heard you well, had all kinds of surgeries and procedures done. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that needs to be addressed here. I was getting text messages. I'm just trying to sit on the beach. I'm having some cocktails. <laughs> I'm getting messages that I've had emergency surgeries, <laughs> that I've been arrested. And then I expect that from Nige and even a little bit from you, Mackenzie. But then I've got Sierra Hignite yeah. bringing me crap. She's telling me that I don't smell well compared to Mock. <laughs> so... I get a lot of problems with you people, and now you're going to hear about them. I wanted to tell you, your peck implants look great. So, I mean, that time off really sealed the deal. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. All right, well, let's get to this. I was watching over the weekend. A 24-year-old American golfer made history over the weekend when he won the Open Championship. I, myself, yeah. I was written for Dylan Fratelli. He's my buddy, but I was happy that this 24-year-old won yeah. Big Nige. Is this anything? Yeah, this is a big deal. 24-year-old Colin Morikawa is now an Open champion. He's the first dude to win both the PGA and the Open on his debut at the tournaments. He's also in good company, McKenzie. He and Tiger Woods are the only two to win those tournaments under the age of 25. So wow. very good company. And, I, yeah, like you, I was watching the Open uh, you probably weren't watching in your garage as I was, as the picture shown here. <laughs> I, I was, I, I was channeling, I was channeling my inner Michael Scott from the office, and had to watch the open from my garage With on top your of the beer fridge. Red solo my, my, cup in hand. I yeah, love my, it. My my ten inch flat screen on top of the beer fridge. <laughs> We're currently remodeling a living room, and I don't have a TV in there right now. So that's what I was doing this weekend. Yes, this is something, huge accomplishment. I love it. <laughs> also an accomplishment. All right, we know mowing the lawn, it can be exhausting, a chore a lot of us don't like to do. One man in Illinois has created a solution, a remote-controlled lawnmower. Hammer, cool. tell me, is this anything? Real heroes don't wear capes, and this falls into the category of this guy here. Let me tell you, again, I was in Florida for eight days. I came back. My grass was so high, I felt like I needed one of those things from Jumanji to kind of smash through just to get to my front door. Yes. A machete. The rain and all the stuff made my grass so high. I would have loved to have had this because yesterday, my day off, I spent the entire day cutting the front yard, cutting the backyard, cutting the side. If I would have had this, I could have just been drinking and watching golf like you <laughs> and Big Nige, Mackenzie. That's uh, right. This is a great invention, the remote control grass cutting machine. This guy says he did this. So it can also help people like me who have allergies really bad. Ooh. If you have a grass allergy, you, you can stay inside, drink about five, six tall boys, watch some golf, watch some baseball, and the grass still gets cut. Mm. This is something. Yes, absolutely. This is amazing. And for just people who are lazy. So, I mean, I'm, I'm all for right. this myself. I yes. fall into all those categories. <laughs> me as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We'll do it again tomorrow.